Hey everyone, this is Ryan, and today we're going to be talking about the lathe modifier 3D Studio Max. Now let's get started. So lathing is a process uh, used by machinists and woodworkers, um, and they they put a, an object in a lathe and they rotate it um, very quickly around an axis point, and they kind of shave away at it and can create objects with that. And we can do the same thing uh, in the 3D Studio Max. Uh, we can model things. Uh, just like a dinner plate like this, um, uh, a light bulb, something like this, where we actually have three lathes, um, the actual bulb, kind of like the socket, and the bottom part right there. Um, something like a, uh, a wine glass too. So any object that kind of rotates around an axis point, uh, we can easily do that with, uh, with uh, the line, uh, line tool, um, spline modeling. You just kind of you draw half of it, and then you put a lathe tool on it, and it'll spin it around, and uh, you'll be able to uh, create objects pretty easily that way. So we're gonna do a uh, a beer bottle today. Um, so let's um, let's get a, and I'll show you how to kind of use a plane um, to import an image, and we can just kind of trace on top of it. Um, so let's let's drag a plane out. Um, and a beer bottle is uh, that's pretty big. A beer bottle is uh, approximately nine and a half inches tall. So um, let's just uh, let's just go 11, 11 by five, and then our image will be uh, a little smaller. So let's get this centered, um, and then uh, go to your material. Um, See here. I have a beer bottle already loaded up in here. I'm going to apply that to the plane. Um, and then you can tell it's kind of stressed out right now. Let's let's put a UVW map on here. We'll keep it planar. And let's go to bitmap bit, bitmap bit and then go back and let's grab your um, image again and it'll be um, it'll be uh, perfectly perfectly um, I guess uh, ratioed on there. So um, now, if you want to get exact, um, nine and a half inches tall, you can just drag out maybe a box, um, and like, uh, and then you can kind of sh sh you know, show it here, um, shrink it down with the UBW map. Um, you can shrink a little bit, uh, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, now we have a, uh, a beer bottle. We've got the image placed on the plane. Um, let's, um, let's just kind of center it up a little bit. So um, I like to have everything kind of on a zero, zero um, axis. And we, when we spin this thing around the lathe, uh, we want it kind of exactly in the middle. Um, so, our, so our output is, uh, is, output is correct. So. Uh, this way we have complete symmetry. This is going to help us out a lot. So um, let's go back to our material here. Um, and I like just using a standard default so we can kind of adjust the opacity here. Um, make it around 50. Um, move it back a little bit. Move it back a little bit. And then we're just going to go in the front view. And we're going to use the line tool. And we're just going to trace right on top of it. Okay. So let's take that line tool. We'll get started here. Um, start clicking. Now we don't want to go overboard with the lines because it will be um, it's going to be really hard to adjust later if you have a million little points like this going like that. So we want to kind of avoid doing that. Um, so we just want to kind of keep it uh, as basic as we can without without going overboard on it. Um, but we need to have certain information in here. So there's like a little ridge right there. Um, let's go all the way up here. Um, and we're going to clean this up. We're just going to kind of rough it in right now. We're going to end up cleaning this up um, after we um, rough it in. So. So 
So right here is, um, I guess, the last point before we, we start adding the thickness of the bottle. Now, we could just stop here and rotate it around, but there won't, there won't be any thickness. So you have to actually go down through the bottle and give it thickness. So we're going to kind of click here, um, and we just kind of want to, you know, follow the... Um, follow the outside. It's going to be pretty similar on the inside now. You might have objects that, uh, maybe transparent bottles might have thicknesses and different, uh, like a wine glass will have like a thicker part, um, maybe on the bottom. It's not going to follow uh, perfectly, but for a beer bottle, you're going to have this pretty much the same thickness, but kind of at the bottom here, you might get a little bit of a I think this black part right here, it might come swoop up like that, like it's uh, indented in the bottom. So we'll try and do something kind of like that, where we'll um, maybe we'll just kind of go up like that. And I don't know if that's exactly what's going on in there, but it might be a cool little detail. So after we're done with that, we want to put an edit spline on top of this line, and we're going to go through. And start making, uh, start curving these um, these points up. So um, one thing you want to do is uh, take these lines right here, um, zero them out, right click on X, right click on X, and now they're perfectly um, aligned to this uh, this Z axis here. So so let's go through, and start curving these out, make these bezier bezier. Um, um, each of these points have, it can either be a bezier corner, a bezier corner, or smooth. Uh, bezier gives you these um, handles that you can kind of manip manipulate the, uh, the point with. So, start here. Um, maybe this. Okay, I'll leave that for now. Um, get these guys here, bezier. And where you have these kind of sharper corners, there's this option where you can do a bezier corner where one side remains sharp and then uh, one handle can be used to curve out, um, which is which is helpful in a, where this stops and then it starts curving. So let's go up here and adjust that. Um, this is probably... Bezier, but we'll have to tone it down. Bezier this guy. So this kind of looks a little So you get the idea. Um, now, um, I can go through and do um, all the inside, but um, just for the sake of time, um, you can do this on your own. Uh, well, let's let's spin this thing around, see what it looks like. Um, now, and actually, let's do this guy here. Okay, so this is going to be kind of a little uh, scoop up in the, actually this one will have to be like that too. Um, all right, so um, once we kind of get it, um, looking great, um, looking right what, what we want. And obviously, you can smooth out this inside, but um, I'm going to hide this uh, image plane. You can see our pivot point is on the actual spline. Let's go up here, go to effect pivot only. We're going to zero this back out, which 
to this axis. So when, so when we lathe, it'll be perfectly centered on that axis. So let's go down to our lathe modifier, hit that, and here you go. Um, it's got kind of like a little indent in the bottom and it goes up. Now, um, you can go in here uh, after the fact. Well, let's go through a few of the options here on the lathe. Um, once you do that, your geometry is, is made. Um, there's, um, I'm not sure if this weld core is on there uh, by default, but if, if it's not on, you start getting these kind of weird faces. Um, if you weld core, it just kind of welds all these birds together. Um, flip normals. Sometimes if you're doing a complex, um, a complex object, um, some faces might be flipped. You can click that. This one looks like it's fine, so no need to do that. But um, your segments here, you can uh, control this depending on how um, how many segments you want. Um, if you want a lower res or higher res, um, it's up to you. Um, so uh, direction, uh, this is, um, I guess, the, the axis it's spinning on. So um, right now, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, right now we, we're on the y-axis. We want it to stay there. Um, but for some reason you didn't place your pivot correctly. It could maybe it may look like this. Um, if that's the case, um, you can align um, your x to uh, the minimum, the center, or the maximum. So uh, center is, you want to kind of center now. You can see down here on the x, it's it. Uh, 0 0.098. We just want to hit that to zero, and that's our that's our um, access point. So, um, other than that, that's that's the lathe tool. So, um, uh, if you like this video and you found it informative, please like, uh, comment if uh, you have any suggestions for me um, or any problems or issues. Leave me a comment, and uh, thanks for watching.